Elizabeth Sharp, Sustainable Health Enterprises Global. Good evening, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Sharp, and I'm the Chief Instigating Officer of Sustainable Health Enterprises, also known as SHE. And about five years ago, I was a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed business school student who thought she had learned a lot and went to go work for the World Bank in Mozambique. But what I didn't know that would happen was that I would learn more in one day from one client entrepreneur than I would learn in that really, really expensive degree. And what I learned when I talked to one entrepreneur was that in her bag factory, 20% of the workforce was missing two to three days per month um, of work. And I was surprised that she said that and asked why, and she said they were menstruating. And typically, uh, pads are more than a day's worth of wages, too expensive, and they were using rags, and sometimes they didn't work. So for fear of embarrassment, they would stay home from work. And I immediately was shocked, of course, and I called up my friend, my best friend from grad school, who's from Bangladesh, and asked her if she had heard about this, this type of thing. And she said, actually, um, in my country, in rural areas, girls miss school for the very same reason. And I was so shocked because, number one, it was a global problem that I'd never heard of. Um, number two, it affects so many aspects of girls, women, and communities' lives, from education to productivity to health, but most importantly, dignity. And I think that's where I made the switch. There's a lot of things that people can feel passionate about, but when you go from shock to outrage to wanting to do something, and I'm sure you've all been there, I was there. And so I started up SHE, Sustainable Health Enterprises, which is a social venture that invests in people and ideas that are typically overlooked and oftentimes taboo, but can be great vehicles of social change. And our first initiative is SHE28, and we're addressing girls and women's lack of access to affordable pads. Now, our, our solution is actually very holistic, and that makes us different. We do advocacy, uh, education, and business development. And first of all, advocacy for the obvious reason that, hey, menstruation is taboo. Um, my dad still says I work in healthcare sometimes. <laughs> so, um, and just to give you a highlight, we kicked off an advocacy campaign with local grassroots organizations in Rwanda, where we started, as well as with international organizations like UNICEF, uh, to break the silence on menstruation. And uh, one result has been that the Ministry of Health in, in Rwanda has agreed to incorporate our health and hygiene content into their national curriculum, which will go out to all nurses and hopefully all teachers in the future. On business development, we've developed and tested an affordable eco-friendly pad made of natural agro-waste with MIT and the Kigali Institute of Science and Technology and filed patent for it in the US, uh, as well as other countries. And now we're replicating a pilot industrial scale manufacturing plant with local entrepreneurs in East Africa, which we believe will be profitable business in Rwanda and beyond. In closing, for many, a three cent pad may seem very insignificant. Frankly, I take it for granted uh, every month, but in the past. But to me now, it represents education, productivity, health, dignity for the over 200 million girls and women we hope to reach. Thank you.